Sanbona, Sani Bingele, La Sanbona, Sani Bingele, La Hello. We welcome you, hello. We welcome you. Ah, Sanbona Mbugel, Sanbona Nimakaya, Jumelan, good day and welcome to TCTV. It's your girl, Dimiso Mashango, and I'm so honored to be with you guys today. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you guys are going to gain a mouthful from today's episode because one thing I can tell you, it's going to be very, very special. So hang ten, do not go anyway. As we continue celebrating Women's Month, we are going to collaborate closely with International Youth Day. International Youth Day highlights the rights that young people have to education, to employment, monetary services, and complete participation in public life. This year's theme is Intergenerational Solidarity. We are speaking about the beauty and the power that Table Charm offers everyone to start building a legacy from the young generation to the old. We leave no one behind. We say, come one, come all. Oh, mama, uingani. Oh, baba, uindotana. Everyone is welcome because into So in today's episode, we will be giving hope to the old. What hope exactly that it is never too late to start building a legacy. But we will shoot straight to the younger generation to and give hope to them. Because the better you start building the better chance you have at having a big and successful business at Table Charm Direct. Giti halala legacy, halala, I cannot wait to dive in. Right, in studio today, I am excited. I'm sure you can see the joy on my face. You know what, my heart is jumping. I feel so special and honored to be given the opportunity to host such beautiful women, such powerful women, such inspirational women who are in studio to share their inspirational story of how they've managed to build a legacy as a mother and a daughter. Yes, you've got that right. No mama Yeah, okay, you heard that right. Help me welcome the one, the only, Uman Aretha Lehuati and Sisim Pom Bambo. Woo! Oh my goodness. Welcome, mommy. Welcome, Sissy. I'm Gosia. I'm so honored. Welcome to TCTV. I'm so excited Thank to you. have you guys. Great. Thank you for having us. Thank you for taking the time to sit with me in my small and boring studio, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are going to paint it with so much beautiful energy. Loving the red color. I love red. I mean, combos are communicating, you know. Such a beauty when you allow God to lead. We didn't even speak about the theme, but look at us today. <laughs> Amen. God is good all the time. Right. So, we are going to unpack in the Mam Aretha. You know who has been in the industry for the longest time, and also Umamun Pombam, who is Aretha's daughter, who's also managed to start building a legacy. Stay tuned, stick close with Uling take your notes and brace yourself. All right, I'm ready to get started. Are you guys ready to dive yeah. in? We're ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start with you, Mam Aretha. Such a beautiful, humble lady. You know, your aura says everything about you. You look like someone who is full of perseverance, someone who's resilient. To me, no wonder you are here today. And I mean, I just heard you received a lifetime award, which speaks volumes about your loyalty. It speaks volumes about your experience and your perseverance, Mam Aretha. The first thing, I mean, when you look back, I don't know how many years ago it was Kunmela, when how long has it been? From when Mam Aretha joined Table Cham to where Mam Aretha is today. Would you say you would see business has changed? The business process at Table Cham has changed in any way? And if so, how has it changed? Oh yes, it has a great deal. Of course. When I started Table Cham 29 years ago. We only sold tableware. Dishware. Yes. Oh my God. Now, table charm has evolved a great deal. Wow. 
we now incorporated style, mm -hmm. beauty, mm -hmm. and health. Mm -hmm. nice. So it has become much more easier to sell the latter of than to sell the dishes we used to sell. Beautiful. And selling the dishes we could not... Uh, you could not uh, attract, attract everyone. younger people. Yes. You could not attract younger people, but only the, the older, older generation. generations. So yes. now that we're selling stuff like style, style, style beauty. beauty, and health, it's Course. much easier to attract younger generation. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you so much for that beautiful answer. There you have it, Mabuwele Kaya. Yes, Table Charm has evolved. Yes, business has evolved. But it's only been for a good cause. Because Lapa Besina Finelli Kona, Gaga de Mandulo, Sesia Konuk Fila Magic, because of the vast change and innovation that has happened at Table Charm. Thank you, Mam Aretha. I'm good, Dad. <laughs> right, let's move right along to the second question, Mamami. I mean, with the um, fast buzz around social media, I mean, technology is evolving every day. Abanyabantu prefer doing business on social media. People are using technology every day to reach the masses. Um, Mam Aretha, would you say? When you learned, which actually social media and technology are now playing a great deal in direct selling mm -hmm. or rather building a business, would you say there was ever a time when you felt like, you know what, I think I'm just going to hand over the bait and this is not for me. Uh -uh. Not for me. And yes, <laughs> was there ever a time you were frightened, you know, <laughs> uncomfortable because of the ever changing technology and social media? Not at all. Mm -hmm. Being me, I'm one person who accept changes. Yes, love that. And technology never threatened me. A brave woman. Besides, if technology started, I was here when it started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you told a lie, technology. Was <laughs> Not the other way around. <laughs> Thanks for the so, clarity. Of course. So I also had children who helped me out where I couldn't cope. Beautiful. That is so beautiful, Mam Aretha. <laughs> I think really in business, especially when you're older, you do rely on your children to yeah. help you, you know, learn and find your way around the ever-changing ways of doing business. Thank you, Mam Aretha. This is beautiful, guys. Oh, my God. Aibo, Aretha, Aibo. 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 Very beautiful. All right. Now we're moving right along to the one, the only, the ever elegant daughter, Sissi Mpomba. Oh my gosh, I love this woman, guys. I love this woman, Sissi Mpomba. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thanks, I'm going to just have some. All right, you ready? Come on, Fe. You need the question, yeah? All right. I'm ready. All right. Sissi Mpomba, you've also managed to build a a, a, a big business, you know, it's it's no child's play, considering your experience. I mean, and you have not always been in, in the field doing what Umam Aretha has been doing for 29 years. I know with you, you started in the office like myself, you know, but you drew the courage to go and plant the seed in the field. So would you say, Sissim Pogo, to the technology and social media that we've been speaking about has played a role in the business that you've managed to build? Or are you like, uh -uh, I don't do much on social media. I'm rather the old-fashioned type of lady, or do you mix everything? I mean, what can you say about everything that we've mentioned so far? Has it been beneficial to you? Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to TCTV. Hala, la, TCTV, hala, la. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, yay. Thank you very much. Such an honor. Oh. And we feel really blessed. Amen. Um, with me on my side, yes, technology has played a great deal 
in the development of of uh, business. Yes. As much as we would still do things the old way, yes. um, would incorporate uh, both because I believe what has worked before, you can still continue to do that and add more so that it, it works out for Beautiful. the best. Yes. Beautiful. So it's a, a combination. So technology yes, has played a role, but I still carry with me the way things have been have been done. Working. Before, yes. I love that. I love that. I mean, kuna sisho um a city ingela ibuza wala pambi. I mean, if a mum areta has managed to use ingela zakala to run business, who are we to say no? We're gonna neglect the old ways and stick to the new technology. There's no need. Rather combine the old and the new for an even better and bigger result. Thank you, Susan Paul, for that. Moving right along. Besang shile kaya kuti namhla njangkhambi ngeke ingkhamba neimbobodo. Watinta bafazi watinta imbobodo. Yeah? You strike a mother, you strike a daughter. Yeah? <laughs> power, power, power. So, balalele kaya babukele kaya. You guys know that we always touch on our mission. Jeremiah twenty nine verse eleven not to harm people, to give them prosperity and hope and to give them a better future. Future is all about legacy. And in studio today, we've got the legacy builders themselves. So I'd just like us to touch on legacy, you know, and I'll take this question to Umam Aretha. Mama, I'd like to know, Uruti, you mentioned 29 years in business. Um, did you ever maybe stay with Usisimpo in the same household where you would run your depot in front of her? And would you say um, she took the skills from you? Did she ever learn anything from you? Or do you feel like that's the reason that today she is Umpombambo? Were you ever in the same household? And does, uh, did this ever play a role in building the legacy that you've ma managed to build? Yes, when she was still at school. Wow. On school holidays, she used to help, help me a great deal. Oh, that's beautiful. Receiving stock. <laughs> that's <is> beautiful. <laughs> Distributing stock. Oh, my God. Writing invoices. Oh, my God. At me. <laughs> no, you really had a hands-on daughter. Yeah, she was. Beautiful. I think that's a testimony. You know, the yeah. earlier, the better. It's simple. Oh, mama, to tell us to uniform, girl. Is that true? <laughs> true. Is it? Absolutely true. And I think it, it makes you appreciate the business even more because oh. you go through all the stages. Yes. In the in the background or in the in the backstage, mm. while she's running the business, you you can see and you can experience and the you can the have scenes. the feel. Yes. yes. So that's why today I'm able to appreciate this business so much because I've seen it oh, wow. working and I've been in it though I was in behind the, the behind scenes. the scenes, but mm. I could see it. For me, it was it's a beautiful experience wow. and to even talk about it today and say I've lived it, I've oh, seen wow. it, I've touched it you know oh, so wow. it makes me appreciate it even more <gasps> what, an end, what, an end, what an answer oh yes i love that i think it's a it, that is powerful for me that is gold you know it's one thing joining a business we are with different background yes. but when you're joining after you've lived business because it's been your daily bread at home i mean you keep on a acquiring and accumulating yes, the skills and absolutely. the knowledge. Hence, you can survive almost anything, you know. Well done, Sissim Paul, well done. So <laughs> now, I'm bringing almost the same question back to you, but in a different angle. Mom mentioned that you and her used to stay in the same household when you were still a schoolgirl. Do you have any kids who are still schoolgirls, maybe, or schoolboys? <laughs> I do, yes. Oh, <laughs> guys, time flies. Imagine from a school girl in a uniform to a mother who's got her own school girls and school boys, yet still in table charm. Yes. Viva, legacy, viva. Viva. Yes. Yes. I'd like to know, your children at home, how were they compared to how you were years ago when you were still that little girl? Would you say that they are hands-on? Would you say that they show any interest when you're receiving stock in the admin of things? Or oh, even better, do you see one of your children one day becoming a repo manager or a distributor or taking over your business the same way you did with your mom's business? Yes, absolutely. With with me at home is talk is table chat. 
Oh, nice. In front of my kids, the talk is table, table charm. charm. So they know table charm. Sometimes they would even say, it table charm no boko. Because oh. they know boko was table charm. Okay. And now mama is a table charm. Yes. So for me, our everyday talk is table, table charm. charm. And my kids, they know, they understand, they appreciate. So what we're doing now is... I, if I remember my son a few days ago, yes. he asked me how much a catalog was because he wants to buy a catalog because he wants to go and show his friends. So for me, that is confirmation that that little seed that I keep planting every single day, now I can see it coming up. So now they're showing yes. interest. And because they love money, you know, every time there's something that they say, oh, mom, so and so wants a perfume. Yes. So I say to them, you collect, you go and collect so much. And then the profit, I give it to oh, them. Oh, so they've oh, tasted oh. that. Now for them, I it's on. I know. <laughs> oh, well, I love that. You know, we have a song, Mam Aretha. Yeah, it's in Jaloma Zombo. No, Pateli Catalo. Pateli Catalo. Jaloma Zombo. No, Pateli Catalo. I'm a Kaka, Kaka, Kaka. Jaloma Zombo. No, Pateli Catalo. Oh, my God. There is power in the catalog. There's power in selling tools. To you, it might just be a book, but to Tadakasi Simpo, it's his commission. Well done, Sisimpo. Well done, Mam Aretha. I mean, in Bukele Kaya, we can both agree. You know, with the, these two beautiful women, I could sit in the studio the whole, whole day because there's so much power, there's so much gold. gold and I'm learning, Nami, in the process. Look, as a parent, you know, as a grandparent, um, whatever it is that you were doing, if you believe in it, if you believe in the change that it has impacted in your own life, pass it on, you know, pass it on to the next generation. At the end of the day, it's all about building a legacy. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mom Aretha. Thank you, Mom Paul. We wish you guys nothing but the best. I'm hoping the next time I have you in studio, I'll be having um Ponyana um man. You know, the one who wants the money. Also sitting and saying, I'm a distributor, you know. And we'll definitely see that what they're saying is not a lie. Table Charm does indeed change lives. Right. Tisha, Tisha. We forgot one question. I'm coming there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the closing. I love that. <laughs> Thank you for that. I hope that's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right. Thank you so much, Mum Po and Mum Aretha. And before I let you beautiful ladies leave my studio and leave me bored, <laughs> can I just please just one more question? <laughs> of course, thank you so much. So it is Women's Month. Um, I'd like you to just take a moment and think, considering the journeys, the very um, unique journeys that you've both traveled within the same company, what message would you say you have for someone watching at home who just relates to your story and is so encouraged to your story? Maybe that someone is not as exposed to business as much as Umam Po was once exposed to business. Maybe this is something that is afar from them, but they do have the willingness. They do feel like, I also want to start building my legacy. Mam Aretha, what would you say to a young person out there, the young poor who was wanting a uniform? I mean, and what would you say to the Aretha that is watching at home and hoping to start building? Is it ever too late? Is it ever too early, Mama? They are watching and they are listening to you. What is your message to them? It's never too early or never too late. Of course. If I may mention this, the youth of 1976 yes. were hands on. They fought for freedom. Of course. Now they can fight for their money. They can fight for their future. Of course. And women in 1956, mm -hmm. that was a long time ago, mm -hmm. They also fought for freedom. Now they can fight for their children's legacy. Oh. They can leave something for their children. and their, Because Table Charm is not for now. It's for generations to, to come. come. Amen. Yes, they can leave a legacy for their children. Uh, because if you are employed, you cannot leave enough for your children. A wise man once said, uh, don't give a person fish. Teach them how to, to catch fish. To catch fish. Of course. Yes. 
I think for women, uh, for, for older women, they can leave this legacy to, for their children yes. to do it for themselves instead of leaving them money. Because it's so easy to spend money that you did not earn. Work for, of course. You don't, earn, you don't work for. Mm. But it's easier to look after uh, the, the, the legacy that was left for you. Nice. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Those are wise words. Thank you, Mam Aretha, for sharing. I'm going to now leave it all over to Mam Mpo. A girl who was once in a uniform but is sitting here all bright and beautiful and is a distributor. You know what? Mom Paul, what would you like to say to the little girl sitting at home and wondering, is it too early for me to start selling? It's selling for old people. Will I make it? Is it worth it? And what would you say to them, especially now that it's women's life? Sure. How how can I top? What Yo, like <laughs> it's, 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 you know, I I believe uh, whether you're young or you're old, money has no age. Oh, yes. We all need to live. We all need to make a difference. We all need to make a change in our lives. And there's no better time to start than now. Now. And to encourage young women out there is it's so nice to be dependent on yourself and not on other people. Because when you're dependent on yourself, it makes you responsible, yes. it makes you accountable, and you go and you look for what you want to achieve in life. We are Zenze, like Nisa well, Kasa. Mm. And once you grab that, yes. you can never want to look back. So, I see because Kati Esi writes so Allah. And now, now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Asumpo. There you have yeah. it. There you have it. It's now or never. I always say, when I'm out there in the field and talking to Amatebu Chamamaki, the time to wonder what your future holds ends today. If you want to know what your future has in store for you, ask yourself this question, what am I doing today? Yes. Because whatever you are doing today is paving that way to your future. It's been an amazing episode, an amazing few minutes with Mam Aretha and Mam Po. Thank you, Mam Aretha. You're welcome. Thank you, Mam Po. Now I can finally say I can love and leave you. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. May God bless you. May God expand you and may He give you the strength and wisdom that you need. Thank you very much. I receive. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> now I can drink my water. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to follow us on all our social handles below.